Hi everyone, we're going to step into day two of our task this week. We've got a candy challenge in front of us and again today you're going to want to visit the link in the video description below this video that you're watching right now. You're going to go back to that task on Catherine Castillo's page and we're going to move ahead to act two. So again, I encourage you to just stay on pace with what we're doing because any extra information kind of gives you some clues and we're just trying to break this down day by day. So you'll scroll under the video that you watched yesterday where it says act two, you'll see some information that looks similar to this. You'll see some pictures there. But what we learned today is we get some specific information to build on yesterday. Yesterday you should have made an estimate. You think the fractional amount of Hershey Kisses in the bag is this, and of Reese's Cups and of Rolos. Well, now we know this with certainty. The information on the website tells us. In that bag of candy, there are exactly 14 Reese's Cups. There are 16 Rolos. And the other piece of information that we learned today is in the bag, in total, there are 56 pieces of chocolate. So that gives us a lot of information but in order to today now be more exact in finding fractional amounts of the candy, there's still one more piece of info, that's an abbreviation for information, that we need to know along with this information so that we can now answer this question. What is the fractional amount of each type of candy in the bag? Not just what is our estimate, but we should be able to come up with an exact answer today. So if you know this piece of information, this piece of information, and that there are 56 total pieces, there's one other piece of information that you can figure out based on this information that we now know. And by the time you've sifted through and you've done some calculating, you should now be able to come up with three fractions again. One for the Hershey Kisses, what fractional amount does that represent in the bag? One for the Reese's Cups and one for the Rolos. So again, you'll have three fractions. Think about those important parts, numerator and denominator and what they mean. And if you use what you know, you'll find the last piece of information, which means you can now find the exact fractional amount of each type of candy in the bag. So calculate carefully, have fun, and if you have the chance, please turn in your work. Send it to myself or to Mrs. Thomas. Find a way through email or one of the other ways that we communicate with you, and we look forward to seeing your work. We'll see you soon.